Okay, so I'm going to apologize in advance for this camera angle and some of the lighting issues, but um, I have to be able to work on this, and it was hard to position the tripod in such a way that it's out of the way, and I can still film it. But anyway, I'm going to tear this uh, knife down. These are tight from the factory. Of course, I can't get a lot of leverage with this tool, but fortunately I was able to get enough to break them loose. It's interesting that they would have different sizes for these two. Alright, why don't we just use the same size, but oh well. Come on. Again, sorry about the shadows. And this one is staying snug for some reason. All the way out. Maybe they have Loctite on it. that up there so I know it goes to that piece I'm going to put these screws in order that I take them out just so that I put them in the exact same spot my guess is these these are interchangeable but I never assumed that not just popping off there okay Give that a little bit of time to focus if it's going to focus That one might be turning. The inner piece is probably turning. Okay, so I do want you to see this. I had to pry just a little bit here with my titanium pry bar to get this to pop off. Just so you know. So I got this stainless steel piece off now. These are the two things I'm mainly going to smooth. I'm also going to smooth this out some. So I don't need to take these spacers off actually, because they're not in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the blade. Clean this up. There. Probably won't have to take that off well I'll go ahead and take this out too just so that it won't be getting any any sawdust on it I mean any sanding dust Those look identical. That's good. So now I'm ready to do all the uh, smoothing, the sanding smoothing that I want to do. So I'm going to take my time and do some of that. Okay, so I have three pieces of emery cloth that I'm using uh, to do the sanding. Different, different grits.
So what I'm going to do now is just smooth out any portions that, any rough edges on this stainless. I already did a little bit of filing on this with a file, and that helped some. But now I'm just doing a little bit of hand sanding here, just to smooth it out a little more. People have complained about the jimping on this being a little bit rough, a little bit sharp on the fingers. And I agree, it's a little bit. So just get some, knock some rough edges off here. All three parts are now um, sanded nice and smooth. I'm going to clean them up now, get all the particles, sand particles off of them, and then I'm going to um, reassemble the knife and see how it all feels. Okay, so I cleaned all three components, dried them, uh, oh, just with a paper towel. They're not completely dry, but they'll dry the rest after they're assembled, no problem. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the knife back together. Just reverse the procedure that I did before. Oops. Actually. So I felt like I felt a little bit of grit on that knife blade. I should have wiped that off, I guess. This is all clean for sure. Okay. Feels pretty good, okay. I'm not putting fresh lube in here because most of the lube is on the bearings and has survived. Next time I tear it down, I'll be sure to have the correct lube handy so that I can put fresh lube in. I don't have any with me right now, so putting it back together with what's there. Okay. You can recall I had to pry this to get it off. So, I'm sure what I'll have to do to get it back on this pen. Ah, got it. Okay, so it's back on the pen. And as you recall, I had to kind of pry this to get this off. But I think, I think that was just kind of stuck on. Okay, so this is the pivot pin. Let 
Not going to snug it yet. See how relatively easy it is to tear this thing down. Definitely not a problem to take this apart and clean it and re lube it. And um, uh, this is the one that's turning on. This is turning on me. Okay. I'll tighten that down. Again, sorry about the lighting on this video, it's not the greatest. Oh, wrong size for that one. Before I snug that down, I'm going to check the alignment. Yeah, the alignment is off because it's not tight. So, snug this one down. Uh, da, 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 da. As we recall, this thing was very tight initially. It's snug, but not super tight now. And the alignment is perfectly centered. Perfectly centered. So you can tell a quality knife. It um, you bolt it back together and it's perfectly aligned, and that's very smooth. So I'm just going to snug down a little bit. It's tight. Okay, that's tight. And these. Okay, finally seated itself. That's tight. Just going around making sure everything's tight. Okay, and one more check here. Smooth as silk. Lockup is perfect. Blade centering is absolutely spot on. And the rough edges are gone. Feels very comfortable now. You know, with just a little bit of playing around, flicks open just the slightest amount of wrist. Flips open now. And of course this way, no problem. And if you want to add wrist action, you can fly it out of there. I don't like to use the wrist action if I don't have to though. Um, Chris Reeves doesn't like you to do it on his knives and I don't like to do it on this knife unless I have to. So it's just so smooth just to go like that. Just to flick it open like so. Very smooth. So no problem at all. Beautiful knife.